clean the pre-filter. You will have to open the cover and remove the filter mesh. You can clean it with a brush and fuel or with air. You can change the covers to enter the pipe from the opposite side. If you change the cover sideways, you must rotate the filter mesh so that the metal part of the filter is in contact with the gasket. The gas sair. The meter can be mounted in any position, but the degasser must always be in a vertical position. The degasser has two holes. Usually one of these must be covered and in the other we will mount the return pipe to the tank. The tube must be 20 mm for the M40 and M50 models and 25 mm for higher models. In the event that we detect that the degasser constantly draws fluid through the gas outlet tube, it means that we have a clogged or damaged float. It will be necessary to disassemble and release or replace the float. The float must be free and without liquid inside. Grease. Metal gears should be greased periodically. Do not grease the plastic gears. Calibration. We'll have to remove the seal from the cover. We will remove the cover to access the calibration device. This device is common for the different models of meter M. It changes only the part of the gears. To calibrate the meter, we will first proceed to loosen the screw that fixes the roller. With our fingers we will turn the roller to vary the calibration of the equipment. To calibrate we will use a reference meter or a large capacity calibrated vessel. We will check the result and modify the calibration of the meter by turning the roller. The vertical numbers indicate the percentage in whole number. The horizontal numbers indicate the tenths. If we turn to the left we will increase. Turning to the right, we will reduce. It is important that, to set a new value, we turn the roller until we exceed the desired value, and return to this value. At the end of the calibration process, we must tighten the roller fixing screw again. We can mount the cover again and seal the cover screw. Replace the calibration roller. We must disassemble the head by removing the screws. When we lift the head, we find the axis and the gear plate. This plate is the part of the register that is different depending on the model. By removing these screws we can remove the calibration roller and replace it. Rotate head. The head can be rotated in different positions. To turn the head you must remove the screws from its base, and without removing it turn until you are in the desired position and replace the screws. Espasa Fluid Technology